Hey guys, it's Taylor, and today I'm going to do my industrial video, and then I'm actually going to make two or three separate videos today. The first one will be on my industrial, and then the second one will be on the Q&As about my industrial and other stuff like that. And then I might make the third one of me changing my industrial. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. But anyways, here it goes. So I got my industrial done on April 12, 2012, so it's been just under six months. And I've actually already made this video and the processing failed and I can't reprocess it on my iPod so I have to remake the entire video. Anyways, so this is my industrial. I got it done, like I said, in April. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it, which is why I'm doing a video featuring just my industrial. And it wasn't, like, there was no pain at all when I got it pierced. And the way they did mine was different from what I've seen other people's. But then again, it was way faster and way less pain. Also, when I was taking care of it, it wasn't too bad. I um, just had to clean it two to five times a day with um, my H2 Ocean, which is really easy. And I got this for 10 bucks, along with the piercing that cost 50 bucks. So it's 60 bucks total to get everything done. But like I said, you got to clean it two to five times a day. And the earliest change that you can do is six months. And mine will be six months on the 12th, so I might just change it early because I have homecoming this weekend. But um, so yeah, that's how it's gonna be. And I might change it tomorrow, or I might change it today. I'm still debating it. Kind of want to change it today because I'm really excited to change it. Um, but to clean it, pretty much you just spray all the holes. I'll show you because I'm gonna do it. One, two, three, four. Ah. But the water does run in your ears sometimes. But that you can just get out with like a tissue or something. And when you first get it pierced, you do not want to touch it for the longest time because you can get infections like from your fingers, like bacteria and germs. They can get in there. And also, you do not want to twist your bar. Most people think, like, when you get regular piercings, they tell you to twist around or what. It's like, make sure they don't, like, get stuck to the skin. Do not twist your industrial. Because what it can do is it can take the bacteria that's around your ear, and when you twist it, it gets into the holes. The only time they tell you to twist it is when you're cleaning it. That way it's wet and it twists it easier and doesn't have to, like, hurt to pull the skin. And then, you know, the bacteria is around it. So I'm actually twisting right now. And I can tell it's sealed because when I twist it and touch it, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. I can move it. So that's how you know when it's healed, and you can, like, there's obviously, like, I used to have a bump from when they pierced it, but that's gone now. So when I saw that, I was so happy. But, um, so yeah, you don't want to move it all around, and you want to try to not hit as much as anything, and don't let people touch it, because you never know what's on their hands and where their hands have been. And even with your own hands, even if you had, like, just washed them, you still want to be careful about that. Um, if you don't get the H2O ocean, you can actually use, um, dial, like, a, uh, non-bacterial, stuff like that is what they say to use. And then there's the um, sea salt water soaks. So pretty much you can do it two separate ways. You can get like a bowl of water, make sure it's warm. It's like it's supposed to be so hot to where you can stand it without burning your skin. Because that the hotter it is, the more it kills the bacteria away. And just pour fine sea salt in it. Not iodized, not iodized, iodized, but sea salt. And then just dip your in there. And that gets really boring though. You're supposed to do it for 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can just make it in a cup and take two cotton balls and hold it and they say to hold it until the cotton balls get cold which can take longer but you can also move more you have more mo yeah. mobility mobility I can't think of words today you have more mobility to move around when you're doing that so I would be so mad if this video doesn't process but because I already made it and then so I did those probably about once every few weeks and that also draws out any infection that you have or will be more likely to get um I have two pieces of jewelry for it hold on I have my original bar that I have these two and I think I'm going to change into this one because um, my homecoming outfit has like a lot of silver in it so that's going to match but I might put on the pink balls with it I don't know yet because these balls are really big and I don't know if I want those or I can just put on these balls again um, some bars I've seen on people's ears are actually like really long and I think that would get on my nerve because it gets stuck in your hair's ear so I was happy with the size of my bar and just know that, like, you can ask them about the size of your bar when you go in to get a pierce. Ask them if it's going to be long. Because usually it is longer because when your ear swells, they don't want it to be tight. Because that can cause a lot of, like, problems. So they mostly get it longer. But mine wasn't that long. And I was actually happy with it. Anyways, but yeah. So next video, I'm going to be doing my Q&A. That was my industrial video. Any other question you guys can ask me. Um, and I'll add, maybe do another Q&A or something like that. But so next time I'm going to do my Q&A and then I might change my industry. Okay, love you guys. Thank you. Bye.